Hello friends, today in this session we will discuss the questions related to transports engineering which were asked in GATE 2021 afternoon session. In my earlier session I discussed 8 questions which were in the forenoon session. In the afternoon session there were 7 questions. The first question is simple straightforward and it is like this. The softening point of bitumen has the same unit as that of now four options are given viscosity temperature distance and time now by definition softening point is the temperature at which the bitumen attains a particular softening and therefore temperature is the correct answer it's the temperature at which the bitumen attains the particular amount of softening second question is the stopping side distance for a level highway is 140 meter. Stopping side distance is 140 meter. Design speed is 90 km per hour. The acceleration due to gravity and deceleration are 9.81 and 3.5 meter per second square respectively. The perception reaction time is to be estimated. For calculation of this SSD, what a perception reaction time has been considered? Now, this is a typical question. In a normal case, SSD is given by this equation V into T plus V square upon 2GF. Now, here F is not given, F is friction is not given, and therefore you have to basically go how this equation was derived. What is the basis of derivation of this equation? V is the speed, T is the reaction time and this is 140, you have to find out T value. Now, if you look at the braking distance, this is lag distance, this is braking distance. Braking distance is the distance required to stop a vehicle when it's traveling from a speed V to 0. Now, this is this equation is derived based on the loss in kinetic energy. Loss in kinetic energy is put equal to the work done by the friction force. So, if W is the weight, W is the weight of the vehicle and F is the coefficient of friction, that W into F is the force, force of friction. And if it takes, let us say, distance S to stop the vehicle, then W into F into S is the work done by the friction force. This must be kept equal to kinetic energy, half mv square. And if you put m here equal to W by G, then this W goes and S is v square upon 2GF. That is how this equation is written here. That is the distance required to stop the vehicle. Now, here if you look at the equation of motion, equation of motion is like this v square minus 2 a s. If final velocity is 0, what is the rate of deceleration developed? s is equal to u square upon 2 a. Now, if you compare these two equations, here A is G into F, that is your rate of deceleration. Now, this is given, G into F is given as 3.5 meter per second square in the question. So, G into F is equal to rate of deceleration. And therefore, if you put 140 here is equal to V.278 into 80 into T plus 0.278 into 80 square upon 2 into 3.5 and you find out what is the value of T here, the reaction time. This is perception reaction time. This is lag distance, this is the breaking distance. T will be 2.03 second up to two place of decimal that is required in the question and that is 2.03 second. So, that is the question number two. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज बेस्ड ऑन द सिग्नल डिजाइन ए थ्री फेज सिग्नल सिस्टम डिजाइन फॉर ए फोर लैग इंटरसेक्शन सो यू हैव ए फोर लैग इंटरसेक्शन वेयर यू डिजाइन ए थ्री लैग थ्री फेज सिग्नल द क्रिटिकल फ्लोर एशो फॉर ईच फेज आर जीरो पॉइंट वन एट जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू जीरो पॉइंट टू टू द लॉस्ट टाइम इन ईच फेज इज टू सेकेंड वट इज द ऑप्टिमम साइकिल लेंथ एज पर वैपस्टर इक्वेशन Now you can watch my video on design of traffic signals for further details. But here, just to come to solve this question, the Webster equation is that optimum cycle length is 1.5 into L plus 5 upon 1 minus summation of y i. Now here, this is the loss time, total loss time. This is the summation of critical flow ratios. Critical flow ratios are given here in the question. So just put in the equation and you get the optimum cycle length. So summation of y i is 0.18 plus 0.32 plus 0.22 and that is 0.72. L L is Two second per phase, and it's a three phase. So L is six second. So C zero will be one point five into six plus five upon point seven two upon minus point seven two. That is the answer. Answer here is fifty seconds. This is fifty seconds. So optimum cycle length is fifty second. That is the answer to question number three. Question number four is the relationship between traffic speed and density is described using a negatively sloped straight line. If V F is the free flow speed, then speed at which maximum flow occurs is. And there are four options. Vf by four, zero. Vf by two, or Vf. Now here, this is based on Greenshield equation. According to Greenshield, there is a linear relationship between speed and density. This is speed and this is density, and it's negatively sloped. That is the question. And it says that the free flow speed here is Vf. Now free flow speed is Vf. And when the speed is zero, this is called jam density. The maximum flow, according to Greenshield, occurs when the free the speed is half of the free flow speed, and density is half of the jam density. This is kJ. And therefore, question number the answer to this question C, V F by two, is the correct answer. The capacity or the maximum flow occurs at half of free flow speed and half of jam density. So that is the answer to this question number four. Question number five is like this. In an aggregate mix, the proportions of coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, and mineral filler. Are fifty-five percent, forty-five percent, and five percent respectively. The values of bulk specific gravity of coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, and mineral filler are two point five, two point six five, and two point seven zero respectively. What is the bulk specific gravity of the aggregate mix? This is also a simple question, straightforward. If you remember how we do Marshall method of mix design, if you have any doubt, you can watch my video on Marshall method of mix design. Here, the theoretical specific gravity or theoretical density of the aggregate mix is given by hundred upon G one up sorry W one upon G one plus W two upon G two plus W three upon G three hundred total percentage. W one proportion of coarse aggregate, G one specific gravity of coarse aggregate. 
फाइन एग्रीगेट प्रपोर्शन फाइन एग्रीगेट स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी फिलर प्रपोर्शन एंड फिलर स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी सो हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज फोर्टी फाइव प्लस फिफ्टी फाइव प्लस फाइव दैट मेक्स हंड्रेड एंड दिस इज फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट इज कोर्स एग्रीगेट विद ए स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ टू पॉइंट फाइव जीरो टू पॉइंट फाइव फोर्टी फाइव परसेंट इज द फाइन एग्रीगेट विद ए स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ टू पॉइंट सिक्स फाइव एंड फाइव परसेंट इज द मिनरल फिलर विद ए स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ टू पॉइंट सेवन एंड देयर फोर दिस विल बी टू पॉइंट फाइव नाइन सिक्स टू पॉइंट फाइव नाइन सिक्स अप टू टू प्लेस ऑफ डेसिमल यू कैन राइट टू पॉइंट सिक्स जीरो Round of two, two place of decimal. This is two point six zero. That is the answer to question number five. Question number six is on railway. For a two degree curve on a high speed broad gauge rail section, the maximum sanctioned speed is hundred kilometer per hour, and the equilibrium speed is eighty kilometer per hour. Considering dynamic gauge of broad gauge line. Is one seven five zero millimeter. The degree of the curve is defined as the angle subtended at the center by a thirty point five meter arc. What is the Ken deficiency? That is the question. Ken deficiency rounded off to the integer. Now here, the sanction speed is hundred kilometer per hour. Maximum sanction speed is hundred kilometer per hour. the equilibrium speed is equilibrium speed is 80 so and two degree curve two degree curve now degree of the curve he has defined the question also otherwise also degree of the curve you should know that it is the angle subtended at the center by a 100 feet Or thirty point five meter arc. So this is thirty point five meter, and this is degree of the curve. I have discussed this in a session on design of super elevations. And if you find out now, this is the radius. This is the radius of the curve R. If you find the relationship between degree of the curve and radius of the arc, that is thirty point five upon d will be equal to two pi r upon three sixty. That is the relationship. Normally, we take it that r is one seven five zero upon d. That is the relationship between degree of the curve and radius of the curve. Now, for two degree curve, radius will be eight hundred seventy five, eight seventy five meter. Now, the super elevation for the equilibrium super elevation for a equilibrium speed of eighty kilometer per hour will be. V square G upon one twenty seven R. This is the equation to calculate the equilibrium Kent. V is eighty. G one seven five zero is the dynamic gauge. R eight seventy five, and therefore it will be eighty square into one seven five zero upon one twenty seven into eight seven five, and this value is. Hundred point seven eight millimeter. Now this is the Kent to be provided for a equilibrium speed of eighty kilometer per hour, and that is called the equilibrium Kent. Now when the train is running at maximum sanctioned speed of hundred kilometer per hour, then how much is the Kent required for that speed? So V for hundred kilometer per hour will be hundred into One seven five zero one twenty seven into eight seven five, and that is one fifty seven point 
157.48 millimeter. 157.48 millimeter. So this is the current required at maximum sanction speed. This is the current actually provided in the field, and the difference between these two is the current deficiency. So current deficiency CD is 157.48. Minus 100.78 and this is 56.7 millimeter. Uh, rounded off to the integer. So, if you round it off to integer, it will be 57 millimeter. That is the answer to question number 6. So, these were the 6 questions which were asked in the afternoon session. I hope you understood. The solution if you have any doubt you can write in the comment box thank you very much for watching this video